This is, is finished. I don't want to speak more about that. My, my goal is always to do my best, to play good for my team. The rest doesn't matter. Something seems to have gotten under Cristiano's skin. It was a comment in 2013 from then FIFA president Sepp Blatter. What on earth did Blatter say? It was in fall 2013, and Ronaldo had just come off an incredible year. He scored 55 goals in 55 games, but one player outshone him. You know, no is about, you know, what I can do. What? Who let this man in here? Get him out! You know, I said get out! We all know who it really was. Lionel Messi. Ronaldo was great that year, but Messi was immense. Messi scored 60 goals in 50 games. Unbelievable! Then, shortly after the 2013-2014 season started, FIFA's controversial president, Sepp Blatter, gave a talk at the Oxford Union. Blatter said something very disrespectful. Women players could have tighter shorts. Female players are pretty, if you excuse me for saying so. Well, yeah, Blatter did say that. He said so many dumb things over the years. But that's not what he said about Ronaldo. Blatter said he preferred Messi over Ronaldo because one has more expenses for the hairdresser than the other. Oh. My. Goal! The disrespect! Also, can't they both afford a hairdresser? I mean, they're both rich AF, and a haircut costs like, what, $30? What Blatter said caused a major scandal. Ronaldo was clearly unhappy with Blatter's comments. No one criticizes Ronaldo's hair. But that's not all. During the same speech, Blatter added that Ronaldo acted like a commander and made an odd march on the stage. What the hell? Real Madrid demanded an apology. And Blatter later tweeted, I apologize if you were upset by my lighthearted answer at a private event on Friday. I never meant to offend you. Sure. We're going to tell our kids this was Sepp Blatter. The media continued to ask Ronaldo about the incident. Ronaldo didn't want to speak about it in public. As we all know, Ronaldo gets his revenge on the football pitch. And like our community member Atul said, when someone pisses off CR7 after losing the Ballon d'Or, we know what's going to happen next. That's the truth. In the next game against Sevilla, Ronaldo scored and celebrated by doing a salute, just like a commander would. Ronaldo must have used Blatter's words as fuel. In the next season, he scored 51 goals in 47 games. Ronaldo scored 10 more goals than Messi did that year and won the Ballon d'Or to top it all off. And he won the Ballon d'Or again in 2014. Today, Blatter is not only no longer president of FIFA, he is in tons of legal trouble over alleged corruption. Seems like he was saving up for a few visits to the hairdresser of his own. And a host of other issues related to when he was president of FIFA. It's rumored children are still throwing birthday cake at his face. Though we can neither confirm nor deny those very funny rumors. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.